Greetings, BeamNG Joyers, and today I'm going to talk to you about one of the worst BeamNG Drive channels to ever exist on YouTube. Yep, that's right. I'm talking about BeamNG Shorts. Yes, I admitted to liking BeamNG Shorts videos one time, but I stopped liking their videos when I realized it's just the same old joke over and over, the same sexist jokes. Same videos trying to reinforce stereotypes and all that jazz. And it's just getting tiring, yeah. I pretty much stopped watching BeamNG Shorts content. And of course, the history of BeamNG Shorts actually predates BeamNG Drive itself. And they don't just do BeamNG Drive content, they also do content on Graph F.05, which is misleading by the way because the title of their channel is called BeamNG Shorts which you think would do all BeamNG Drive content. And of course BeamNG Shorts has also nearly ruined the good reputation of BeamNG Drive. Yet somehow their videos still get a lot of views and I don't understand why they're not that great. They're just videos that I could probably do myself in a few minutes or whatever. I do better BeamNG content than BeamNG Shorts and I put more effort into my videos. Yet, my videos don't get as much views and these videos are just there to satisfy whatever the YouTube algorithm needs. So yeah, BeamNG Shorts, not a great channel, but has gotten a lot of subscribers. How many, you might ask? Well, let's find out right away. Yep, that's right. This channel that makes nothing but cringe content has 6.59 million subscribers. That's more subscribers than Cinemassacre and Lazy Game Reviews, and especially more subscribers than even Beam and G Boy, which is the better channel in my opinion. He makes great content, but anyways. Beam and G Shorts. Beam and G Shorts is a channel that is infamous amongst the Beam and G Drive community, and for good reason. Despite being a popular channel, it's not actually that great. Their videos are basically just trying to reinforce stereotypes, trying to put in political satire, and of course, the same sexist jokes over and over, and the same old yada yada yada. So yeah, a lot of their stuff is not that great, and of course, I would like to bring up one example. You see, there is a video in BeamNG Shorts where they reinforce the French stereotype of the French surrendering, because that's what they like to do. And guess what? They didn't even get the vehicle right. Yeah, they used the Gabriel D series. It would have made more sense if, well, I don't know, they used a Charrier Vivos or Charrier Tograt, because at least it's a French car. I do agree with Sour Discs on this one. Yeah, Sour Disc made a good point. You should have used something French. And of course, if you'd think that would be it, well, you haven't seen anything yet. I'm not going to show you the videos in fear of getting a copyright strike by BeamNG Shorts themselves, but there is another video where some girl or female character, whatever, some unnamed female character goes in and drives around in the Bugatti and says, my dad got me this Bugatti for my birthday, and then some guy in a helicopter goes in and says, Imagine being poor, because of course it's Dubai, and in Dubai, well, the Bugatti is a status symbol, and you look cool with it. In Dubai, it's really nothing. It's a poor man's car, because the people in Dubai are so rich. Yeah, let me get that straight, okay? People in Dubai are not always rich, and I hate to say this, but 
I'm actually sided with Beam and G Boy on this one. Why? Because I've seen the traffic of Dubai, okay? I've watched The Amazing Race with my mom, because my mom likes to watch The Amazing Race. And there's one episode where it is set in Dubai, and guess what? Not everyone in Dubai traffic has a hypercar and supercar, and barely any of them have any luxury automobiles. It's usually just stuff that we have. It's normal people cars, and you'd be lucky if you're actually a millionaire or a billionaire in Dubai, because hardly anybody in Dubai has a hypercar or sports car or something high-end. It's just the way it is. Yeah, so the reality of that situation would be, my dad got me this Bugatti for my birthday, and then that guy would say, well, you're lucky. We don't get to drive a hypercar like you do, because we have to drive in a mid-sized car. We have to still drive in the Camry. Because not everyone in Dubai is rich. So yeah, that's the reality of the situation. And the worst part is that Beam and G Shorts even inspired some copycats. Yeah, there are several channels out there that try to copy the style of Beam and G Shorts, and some of them use the same text to speech program. And there's even Aaron Rhymes, Aaron Rhymes too, but to be more precise, who tries to capture the success of Beam and G Shorts. And another bad thing about Beam and G Shorts is that they steal mods without the creator's permission and consent. This pisses me off. Yeah, it's... You can't do that. You just can't do that. You can't just go around stealing people's mods without having to link them and or mention the creator. I agree with BMG Boy on this one. They stole the Otron CVP mod without even asking BMG Boy, and it's something that makes me mad. Yeah, I would actually ask BMG Boy if I wanted to use the Otron CVP or even the European Abyss Pessima. Because believe it or not, these mods are actually great. He did a great job on those mods. They're not like the Modland and World of Mods garbage that you get with. Some having no texture parts. They're actually great mods that he did a great job on. And yeah, you see, like, I want to search it in because, yeah, I can't f remember, but it's expectation reality. But it's that video where they flat out stole that mod with the, out the creator's consent. So yeah, despite being a large channel, they've already been in hot water with... Beam and G mod community members. Yeah, well, Beam and G community members, not just Beam and G mod modders, but all Beam and G community members. They've been hot water with them for good reason. And yeah, so Beam and G shorts has a lot of bad things going for them, and I gotta be honest here, Beam and G shorts is not that great of a channel, and. Some of the stuff that they have is flat out offensive, and I've seen funnier jokes in Big City Greens, even though I'm not a fan of Big City Greens myself. See, look, that's Aaron Ryan's too. That's the one of the copycats of Beam and G Shorts. He makes some of the same stuff, and even has that infamous spool and diesel Dodge Ram Gavril D series mesh slap abomination that. You get for fifteen dollars a month, which not is which is not even worth it. If you want good paid mods, get the Sherry Picnic, Gavril Scout, Hirochi Rush, or even the Chevette Mondero. Those are the paid mods that you actually want to get. And the Bishu Signia is also excellent. Yeah, they're cheap and affordable mods that I highly recommend you to get. If you have the extra cash, do it. So yeah, as was saying, I've seen big funnier jokes of Big City Greens, and yeah, keep in mind, I'm not a fan of Big City Greens, and 
Even Luann's puns are funnier than the jokes in BMG shorts. It's, nothing is funny in BMG shorts. I've made better BMG content than this channel. And I've actually put effort into it, and it's actually family friendly and doesn't have something that needs to be censored. So yeah, in my opinion, BMG shorts nearly ruined the good reputation of BMG Drive, and of course, a lot of their videos do focus on crashing, but in my opinion, BMG Drive is more than just the crashing physics. The crashing physics are great, but they're only just the icing of the cake. What's BMG Drive to me? Well, it's not just the crash physics, but also racing and getting to explore cities and doing good content. That's what it is to me, so yeah. If you're a BMG Drive fan, BMG Shorts is one of the channels that you must avoid, then you should avoid at all costs. They've not only been in hot water with BMG Boy, but they've also produced some of the worst content out there with offensive stereotypes. Cringe videos. And stolen mods, and of course, World of Mods and Modland Nightmares. Yeah. If, if I get 200 subscribers, I will review some Modland and World of Mods mods. Because those mods are absolutely atrocious. Yeah, a lot of them are. They're, you get some good mods, but they're rare. So, yeah. I've known good BMG content for a while. I've followed some BMG channels. Some are actually great, and some are actually underrated, like BMG Boy, and of course, Sourdisk. I actually like Sourdisk's videos. And props to Mouye, and of course, Talks with Noise. They've also made some great videos. Those are the channels that I highly recommend you watch, but BMG Shorts is one channel that you should avoid at all costs. Anyways, on to the outro. I also forgot to mention that BMG Shorts is also on TikTok, which is a red flag because TikTok is just a breeding ground for cringe. And I also wanted to mention the fact that you'd think that with them creating a lot of these videos that they would get a lot of money out of it because BMG Shorts doesn't do any main content, they only do YouTube Shorts. Right? Well... As I discovered with Mouye, you only get 5 cents per 1,000 views with YouTube Shorts. Hence why I have a Patreon. I have a Patreon because I still want to get paid for my videos, but I don't want to do the YouTube Partner Program, and I have no intentions of get, getting any sponsors, but I still want to get paid for my work, and I always appreciate the support from you guys. See, this is why I have a Patreon. Because even having 1,000 views with the 5 cent payout is still not enough. You always gotta have a Patreon page so you can fix your money scores. Yeah, if you have some extra cash. Go ahead and support me on Patreon, and I even have some behind-the-scenes stuff that is only available to Patreon members. And yeah, BMG Shorts is the one channel that I have no idea why they're still around and why they're still popular, especially with all of the cringe that they have on the channel itself. And so much of it is wrong. Yeah, I amended my opinion on Fema G Shorts long ago. You select your content, but I amended my opinion on it because I realized how bad their content can be 
and how awful they are as a channel. And when I saw BeamNG Boys video on how bad BeamNG shorts can become, I never turned back. So yeah. Just like Super Mario Logan, I had an opinion change on BeamNG shorts. And it's also what got me to do my own daily shorts that are well, about Beam and G Drive, and are not nearly as offensive, are actually pretty good, and they're not like TikToks. So, yeah. I actually make some good Beam and G content, and it's a shame that channels like Beam and G Shorts are still getting a lot of views despite their content not being that great. And I always appreciate guys like Beam and G Boy, as he did the Stupid COVID series, and I always like watching Stupid COVID videos. So yeah, not every Beam and G Drive content creator is as offensive as Beam and G Shorts. And Wojtek, don't get me, don't even get me started on Wojtek and what that guy did. Yes. Certain people think the Loud House fandom is bad, but Wojtek makes those toxic Loud House fans look like priests. Don't even get me started on him. He even had a fight with BMG Boy. You don't mess with BMG Boy. He is a great content creator and makes some of the best content out there. But anyways. My final verdict on BMG Shorts is definitely... Well, I don't know if I want to give it a rating. But I will say a 1 out of 10. At least they get points for using some good bots, and the Agent Y brick-built car bot is actually pretty good. I highly recommend you download it. But as it stands, BMG Shorts is just not great. Yes, they do have some banging tunes like some funk I was introduced into, but even that's not enough to save the channel from them being awful. And they even ruined some memes. Yeah, they ruined Shrek memes, they ruined cars, and it makes me mad and upset that they do it. Yeah, in one of the Cars videos, they have Luigi with as the Fiat 500, which does make sense in Cars movie because he was a Fiat 500, but as BMG Boy pointed out, you could already do that with the Autobello Piccolina since it's similar to the Fiat. So yeah, BMG shorts, avoid at all costs, not recommend it. And anyways, those are my thoughts on BMG shorts. Catch you guys next time and peace out. Smaller channels are at risk, and every subscriber means a lot to them. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the latest Racer Cinema Productions videos. And together, we can help drive the YouTube algorithm away from this channel so that I don't succumb to the fate of other smaller channels getting defeated by the viewer-based power.